It's day 79 and the lockout is still in place. We're talking National Football League and charity with one of the game's brightest young players. One of professional wrestling's biggest and most colorful characters is in the house, Minnesota's own Road Warrior. We're looking for twins highlights and fans tell me it's still Luriano and a game on reminder to help everyone a week after the tornado. It's all ahead, it's game on. And great to be with you again. Good Sunday morning to you. I'm Rod Simons. This is Game On, powered by the Courtside Bar and Grill. And, you know, we've told you it's a big game on before, but it really is a big game on today. One of pro football's biggest players, Phil Lodeholt. You'll meet him in just a couple of minutes. Great kid. We're talking football and we're talking some charity stuff. And one of the brightest stars to ever be in pro wrestling the Road Warrior will be talking to us. Delighted to have him here as well. But we always start game on by the numbers and some interesting numbers for us all now. As we're fans, it's day 79 of the NFL's owner, player, stuck in labor limbo situation doesn't seem to be ending. The Lynx continue their preseason with title hardware hopes ahead. Stanley Cup finals are nearing and so is preparations for the National Hockey League draft that will be played out at the XL Energy Center. And the Wolves, now that they know they're number two, just days ago we found out, big plans for the NBA draft ahead. Delighted to have here on Game On, the big man in the house, Phil Lodeholt, is here. Welcome. Thank you. Thank you for having me. Nice to see you. Now, when we talk NFL this time of year, we normally would be talking about camps. And it's like day 79 of the, the lockout, and you guys are still waiting for an agreement. This has got to be killing you. Yeah, it definitely is. It's getting a little old now. It's getting bored. Uh, really wish we could be out there playing, but like you said, just waiting and waiting and waiting. So. And I asked him that hard question off camera. I said, are coaches calling you and all that? You said, absolutely, <laughs> absolutely not. not. Nah, no contact at all. It's, just, it's kind of weird. You know, we can't have any contact, especially with a new coaching staff. Um, it's, 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 it's really weird. When you guys work out, you're working out with teammates, uh, former college mates. You're just getting in your conditioning. The hard part is not having the continuity with your players. Exactly. Uh, you know, with us having a... a kind of a new system coming in. You know, we wish you could have that, get that continuity down with, down with some guys and things like that. But, you know, you just got to get things done on your own, make sure you stay in the best shape as possible. When you get that call, you're ready to go. When you were in the office with the teammates and the coaching staff, what was it like working around Coach Frazier? Oh, it was fun. Uh, it, it, it was a lot of fun. Uh, you know, we had to change with, through the middle of the season, which could be tough for some teams. I think we handled it well. Um, I mean, guys responded for him and, and played hard for him, and it was a lot of fun playing for him. You took your lumps in your first season. Are you excited about the opportunity to have a different offense and maybe even a little bit more straightforward offense from what we hear and the opportunity to get at some critics? Yeah, definitely. I, I mean, you know, there's a lot of critics, especially oh, yeah? coming to our team. But I mean, what I'm excited for, I know the, the, the type of talent that we have on this team. I know the type of uh, coach that Coach Frazier is, the type of guys he's going to surround us with as our assistant coaches. So I'm just, it's nothing but excitement for me right now. I mean, I don't really listen to any of those things that's going on, but like you said, it's, it's going to be fun when we can uh, prove some people wrong. Everybody wants to know who's, your, who's going to be your quarterback. Tell well, us, tell us. I, you know, we drafted a quarterback early, and I'm excited about him coming in, and I'm looking forward to whoever's back there, you know, blocking for him, and it's, it's going to be a lot of fun for me, whoever's back there. You know from experience how hard the transition is from college to pros. Is it harder on a quarterback? Well, you know, I never played quarterback, so, you know, I, 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 my guess would it would be a little bit tougher, but... From what I've heard about Christian, I mean, he's an extremely smart guy, and I think he won't have any problem adjusting. I talked to Pat Williams a couple weeks ago. He doesn't miss being in camp. He misses playing. He doesn't miss being in camp. Do you miss that time at this time of year? See, Pat Williams, he's going to his 13th year. You know, he can, he can miss a few camps now. <laughs> you know, me personally, I'm going into my third year. So, uh, you know, I mean, you kind of look forward to, you know, to getting that time with your teammates and things like that. You always wish you could play some ball. Um, definitely wish we would be out there playing. Nice. More with Phil Lodeholt in just a minute. we got a very, very special day coming up that we want to talk to them about. Don't forget, go to our website for all the latest information. It's GameOnTVMN.com. It's packed with some of the best blogs. Brandon on baseball, the boss on MMA, extensive reach on the Vikings with Shockers Locker and Holt on Hockey. We link you to our partners, too. Our fan site is with the Vikings, PurplePride.org. So check us out. It's GameOnTVMN.com. Com. Now, we're looking for a Twins highlight. We got a couple. We're talking about Liriano's no-no and fans still reacting to that. Nine innings, 123 pitches. You know, not too many people can say it. I think it's fantastic.
Hey, Dave, we're out of Bud Light. Oh, good thing I just downloaded this app. Here we go. It's the sure sign of a good time. Just right taste of Bud Light. Here we go. Nice app. I gotta get a new phone. Hey, our friends and neighbors need our help. Please take a moment to donate to help victims of last Sunday's tornado. Go to thesalarmy.org. Call 800-725-2769 with either money, food, non-perishable food, uh, hygiene products, clothes, furniture, you name it, they can use it. Or text BLESSING to 85944. Together, we're going to stand taller, help each other out, and thank you for caring. Welcome back. It's Game On, powered by the Courtside Bar and Grill. Great to have you with us. We'd love to have you at live taping. You kind of like it here. This is a fun place. Yeah, it's a nice spot. It's a big bar. You got some baseball team. It's a pretty nice spot. It's cool stuff. Uh -huh. Phil is not just having a blast on the football field and waiting for the National Football League to end this lockout, but you're also heart and soul into a big event coming up. It's a golf tournament to fight pancreatic cancer, and you actually have a vested interest in Swing for success. Yeah, um, in 2005, my grandfather was diagnosed with pancreatic cancer, and uh, we lost him that year. So, something dear to my heart, and you know, anything to support it, I'm, I'm definitely with it. And swing to support is a, a good golf tournament to, to, to be a part of, so I'm excited about it. A lot of players will be coming out, and when you talk to uh, football players, professional athletes all over, have a number of different causes, but when it's a player talking from the heart, they often pay attention. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's something dear to me, like I said, and uh, you know, I lost my grandfather. We were extremely close, and uh, I'm, I'm excited about the opportunity to raise some awareness about it. So they get out there. Do they get a golf with you if people sign up? Yeah, definitely. I will be golfing. I'm gonna, I'm gonna play some. I'm gonna play some holes and see what I can do. I'm not very good, but I will have some fun out there, though. A guy as tall and as strong and stout as you are, you gotta crush the ball a country mile. But you gotta be able to make the contact first. That's that's the hard part. With How's golfing. your short game? Yeah. My short game is a lot better than my long game, so we'll see. It's going to be a fun though. So when are we going to get this labor thing settled? You know, I'm just, I have absolutely no idea. I just kind of wait and see. I'm, I'm looking at ESPN just like everyone else trying to figure it out. Right. So. And once it happens, is it is it one of those things where you guys feel you'll be playing catch up? or will it all kind of come together quickly? Because you all know you're in the same boat. Yeah, we, yeah everybody's in the same boat. I'm, uh, f from an alignment standpoint, as long as we're in shape and ready to go, that's pretty much all we can do. Uh, you know, our skill guys are getting together, and they, you know, they'll get their timing and stuff down when they can. So you know, from an alignment standpoint, we just stay in the best shape we can and be ready. Looking forward to it. We'll Thank be you. all over the golf tournament. Thank you. Thank you. God bless you. Good luck in the coming season. Thank you. Swing for success. It's on our website, GameOnTVMN.com. And don't forget, you can keep up with the Wolves and the National Basketball Association with my weekly blog. It's Simon Says at Timberwolves.com, part of a great NBA website full of inside information, strong Wolves viewpoints all at your fingertips. It's interactive, so drop me a note at Rod at GameOnTVMN.com and look for my Simon Says blog new every Thursday morning at Timberwolves.com. Now, more fan reaction to Liriano's no-hitter. We're looking for the bright spot in the season right here in our voice of the fan. I was uh, coming home from work. It was the bottom of the seventh inning. I had it on on the radio, and I'm thinking, ah, uh, yeah, you know, the eighth inning is, you know, coming. Get home to watch the last three outs. It was just one out at a time. It's just unbelievable. Walling Berg and Deebly believes in families. We understand and support families in all their many forms. And when legal problems arise in the family, Walling Berg and Deebly is there. Walling Berg and Deebly, the premier family law firm of Minnesota. When you need us, call 612 326 3453 or visit wbdlaw.com. Working together means working efficiently. And a Lennox home comfort system may just be the perfect example. Its air conditioner works together with the furnace. And that works together with the air purifier. And that works with you by saving you up to half off your heating and cooling bill. The future of home comfort is here now at Liberty Comfort Systems. Get the latest in innovation and technology at Liberty Comfort Systems.
Lennox, innovation never felt so good. Hey, our friends and neighbors need our help. Please take a moment to donate to help victims of last Sunday's tornado. Go to thesalarmy.org. Call 800-725-2769 with either money, food, non-perishable food, uh, hygiene products, clothes, furniture, you name it, they can use it. Or text BLESSING to 85944. Together we're going to stand taller, help each other out, and thank you for caring. And delighted to have the Road Warrior in the house. Mr. Lauren Ine, it's great to have you here. How are you doing? Thanks for having me. Thank you very much. If you didn't know it, a bestseller is sitting in his lap. Tell us what's that. Check it out. Well, you know, about a year and a half ago, I decided to write a book on approach. And, uh, I, you know, I was really hesitant because most of the wrestling books have been kind of garbage books. You know, I don't want to be a kiss-all tell-all. Absolutely I, I, I just not. wanted it to be a good book that a kid could read and, you know, express how our, our career went. It went great. I've had, I was blessed to win every tag team title. So it's a fun thing for kids going down memory lane there, you know. So I wrote the book. It's called Danger, Death, and the Rush of Wrestling, and it's been a fun ride. And who would have thought I'd been a bestseller, right? right? Hey, it's been a wild, wild ride the last five years, I'll tell you that. You look great, and you said you've lost a lot of weight. Yeah, I lost about 60 pounds, you know. Well, when James, my son James went to Ohio State, I, uh, I started doing nothing but treadmill stuff. And uh, I, I just quit lifting weights. I'm one of those guys, when I touch a barbell, I just start growing. I just the way I am. I've been like that since I was like 14. So I stopped doing that. I did a lot of aerobic stuff and cardiovascular, and I feel great. Nice. And do you still take a look at what's going on around you in terms of wrestling and, and, the, and the sport itself? Yeah, I do. I, I go down to Tampa every once in a while where WWE right. has a training center, and uh, it's called FCW. And we're called coaches now. And I go down there and I'll coach the young guys. So you're still involved? Yeah, I get calls all the time from young guys. Hey, what do you think about this interview? Did I do it right? Because it is, it is a, you know, you're an actor, you're an athlete. It's everything all wrapped up in one now. They call it sports entertainment. You're not even a wrestler anymore. That's right. You're a sports That's right. entertainer. That's right. So, uh, you know, so it's, it's kind of a, it's, it's a different deal and not everybody can do it. So when a guy has been successful in it, you got to give back, man. It's way of giving back. I and, love to do it. And you do a lot of that. We'll talk about your son in just a moment. Your favorite... Favorite moment of your career, the the thing that stands out in your book? You know, I tell you what, one of the, one of the, I start off and I hook everybody. Madison Square Garden, 1991, Wrestle the Nasty Boys, you know, in WrestleMania for the WWF at the time, but now WWE World Tag Team Titles, and uh, and winning there and seeing all the guys like Lou Ferrigno and all the actors out there was just wild. And that was the last big belt that we had a chance to win together, Hawk and I. But as far as like a tremendous ovation or anything, uh, 92 SummerSlam, Wembley Stadium, 90,000 people. Amazing. All over the world you've been. Crazy. I've got to be, go to Guam, Japan, Kuwait, yeah. Abu Dhabi, all over the place, man. So it's been great. Passing of Randy Savage. Horrible, man. I tell you, the thing with that whole deal is Randy's wife, they just had their year anniversary, that was his old high school sweetheart. They had lost touch for about 30 years. They rekindled their relationship a couple years ago. He said, I, I guess he was never happier than anyone in his life. His daughter just graduated college last week. I guess, it's, I was, saw Jeff Jarrett last week. He spoke to Hulk Hogan, and uh, I guess Randy had the heart attack and fought it and hit the tree on purpose to protect his wife. That's amazing. Yeah, so, I mean, God bless him, man. My, my yeah. prayers uh, you'll go out to Randy and his family. All of us. And last but not least, you are a larger-than-life character but a teddy bear because your son, James Laurinaitis, now in the National Football League after Ohio State and a great career here, you're the proudest papa on the planet. You know, you only wish that your child could have success, right? And for him to, and especially be, be more successful than you are as a parent. That's, that's the every parent's dream, you know. You want your kid to be able to stand on his own two feet, and he has surpassed that. The kid's got great morals, great attitude. He's been that way since he was a leader at Wyzetta High School. Yes. Same thing at Ohio State for four years, you know. And then now at the St. Louis Rams, you know, kids had 140 plus tackles every year. I sit out there in amazement and I go, how's he doing that? Each level, he's just, he's so cerebral when he gets that from mom, of course, but he's so cerebral. He's a great athlete and, uh, you know, the kid's great. It's, it's fun to watch him. I like going there because I've got, you know, I've got, my delegation has gotten put down a little bit. I'm, oh yeah, okay, I'm animal once in a while. When I go to the games, you know, a lot of the announcers, hey, animal, I was a kid watching you, I loved you. But, I'm actually James' dog babysitter when I go to St. Louis. Yeah, I watch James Rottweiler puppy, so I'm, I'm a pooper scooper handler is what I am now, you know. Got to get the book. We'll have a link on our website. 
Road Warrior, you are the man. Thank you for being with us. Thanks for having me. We'll see you at Golf for the Gift on June 23rd. Oh, I love to play. I can't wait. Thank you very much. Right, thank you. Time now for Who's Hot and Who's Cold, brought to us by Liberty Comfort Systems of Anoka. They are your personal temperature specialist. Who's Hot, it's got to be the Mavericks. Like it or not, there is no question that the star power of the Mavericks is forward Dirk Nowitzki. He has had a sensational season, and it's carried over into the postseason. The championship is still not his, but his work and effort is absolutely tremendous. It's fun watching Jerk Nowitzki. He's hot. Who's cold? It's got to be Ray Lewis. Very cold. Lewis has had a number of run-ins with the law and now says if the NFL lockout doesn't end, that could result in higher crime rates. Lewis's fellow players are already distancing themselves from him and his statements. Whatever the case, that's called foot in mouth and it's cold. That's who's hot and who's cold. Brought to us by Liberty Comfort Systems of Anoka, your personal temperature specialist. Check them out and friend them at Facebook. Time now for our voice of the fan looking for that one twins highlight that we need and it's Liriano's no hitter. Well, I think that we definitely needed to uh, to get uh, some momentum going and uh, I think it's going to overall help the team uh, get some wins down the road, get some confidence. Pick up the latest issue of Wheels of Thunder magazine. If it's on wheels, you'll find it in Wheels of Thunder. Full color photos of bikes, trikes, cars, trucks, and even sleds. High performance or right off the street. Mind blowing power, speed, and custom touches. It's all in Wheels of Thunder magazine. Plus, find out about the latest races, rallies, and custom products and services in your area. Check out Wheels of Thunder on Facebook and follow them on Twitter. Wheels of Thunder. River City Saloon is the place for food, music, fun, and bikers. Bikers get the best parking spot, and inside from business people to bikers, everyone's gonna have a great time. Create your own bucket list at the River City Saloon. There are specials every night of the week and live music all weekend. Get us online at hollysrivercitysaloon.com and look for the awning just off Main and Anoka, right in the heart of the historic Anoka Entertainment District. See you soon at the River City Saloon. Our friends and neighbors need our help. Please take a moment to donate to help the victims of last Sunday's tornado. Go to thesalarmy.org, call 800-725-2769, that's Sal Army, with either money, food, non-perishable food, hygiene products, clothes, or furniture. You can also text BLESSING to 85944. Together, we'll all stand taller and help each other out. And again, thank you for helping and delighted to have you back with us. This is Game On powered by the Courtside Barn Girl. This is Master Sergeant Randy Schmidt. Great to have you with us. Pleasure to be We're here. We're talking about DefendingTheBlueLine.com. Last week we talked about the passing of Derek Bugard. He was very, very heavily involved with this valiant effort. And tell us real quickly what it is that you guys are doing to help kids of soldiers that are deployed. Well, our main mission is to keep uh, military kids in, the, in hockey. Uh, we do that by fundraising. Um, it's a bunch of soldiers who've gotten together and created a foundation that keeps kids uh, playing when mom and dad are away, um, whether they're home or abroad. Uh, we have plenty of people that uh, come and contribute to us and for our cause. And we're not just talking about players like Derek Bugard and Brett Burns. you got a number of teams and the entire National Hockey League pretty much behind you, right? Really, yeah. The passing of Derek Bugard uh, gave a big uh, boost to us and gave us some recognition a little bit. Not really the way we wanted it, but uh, really helped us out a lot. Because the boogeyman, quite frankly, was very, very supportive yes. of defending the blue line. Yes. He uh, had a very big passion for hockey, obviously, being a player. But uh, off the ice, he, he loved getting involved with the kids and making sure that they uh, got to know the game and got to play the game. So to us, that was very important to have him on our foundation. And you know, it's more than just giving hockey pucks and sticks and skates to kids. You're helping them cope with the, with missing a parent. That's right. Yeah, we uh, do our best to keep the kids busy while mom or dad are away because yeah, it's uh, important. Yes, they're on the road and they don't get to see mom and dad maybe for 90 days to 120 days. You've seen so, this firsthand, haven't yeah, you? Yeah, I've deployed a few times and I also have kids that are involved in defending the blue line. So. For me personally, it is a, it's a great foundation that helps kids 
really stay close to the things that are normal for them at home. You can help defendingthebluelineline.com. Correct. Great to have you with us. Thank you, Master Sergeant Randy Schmidt. Pleasure, with sir. us. Thanks. Thank you for being here. Yep. And don't forget, you can join us in person every Tuesday to take in a live taping. Be part of Game On, powered by the Courtside Bar and Grill. This coming week, Cedric Griffin of the Minnesota Vikings and Marcus Levesser, the great wrestler turned MMA professional here at the Courtside. Love to have you at 7 o'clock Tuesday nights right here with Game On. Each and every week, we take time to put the focus on high school athletes and our great young athletes in the area. Delighted to have the Andover Huskies in the house with us. Say hi to Brady Johnson, one of the team stars. Now, when you look at this team, what is it makes you guys special? Um, we've had a lot of guys playing together since we were 10, 11 years old. We, uh, we get along great, we work hard, and um, I think that's what makes our team pretty good. 11 and nine on the season, sections coming up. You guys have good hopes going in. Yes. We, uh, we started out very strong, then we kind of started going up and down halfway through the year, and we're kind of hoping we uh, come into this section strong now. Now, one of the things that's special about Andover, these guys will be playing in sections two and a half weeks left in school, and we only have four seniors. So are you guys kind of getting senioritis, the, the few seniors who are here? Oh, yeah. Yeah, and so all the juniors now become big men on campus, and... The future, as you were saying, is is pretty bright because everybody is so young. Yeah, we have a lot of juniors returning next year, and we have a couple sophomores who've come up and stepped up big for us. Andover Huskies in the house, our high school spotlight team of the week. Thanks, you guys. Good luck the rest of the way. Thank you for being with us. Give it up for Andover. Give yourselves a round of applause, boys. Nice to have you here. Time now for our wheels of Thunder Week ahead. The Twins will get the Angels in just a couple of hours. Stars soccer on the 18th against Edmonton. MMA June 3rd at Forest Lake. It's the Tour of Duty bouts. The Lynx will open at home against Los Angeles. Machine football June 11th. Saints baseball against Gary on June 10th. Swing for success is June 6th. Don't forget at Fan HQ, private signings for infielders Nishioka and Casilla. And in store, it's Danny Valencia June 18th. Michael Kadire June 29th. Time now for our voice of the fan. We're looking for that one Twins highlight of the season. It's still Liriano's no hitter to the fans. I said my favorite pitcher on the Twins. How can he do that? Because he kind of stinks a little maybe, but then he does a no hitter. That's just amazing. In New Orleans, we know how to throw a party. In the UFC, we know how to kick back. Throw in over 3,000 Bud Light contest winners, and here we go. Bud Light's giving away thousands of trips to New Orleans for the Bud Light UFC Battle on the Bayou. Get in on the action at Facebook.com slash Bud Light or wherever Bud Light is sold. It's the sure sign of fight night. Here we go. How to order a pizza. Step one, decide on toppings. And Pizza Man says, remember, cheese is included and only extra cheese is considered a topping. Step two, pick up or delivery. And if you choose delivery, don't forget to tip the delivery person. Step three, call Pizza Man for the TV special. Step four, call Pizza Man in Renoka, home of the heavy toppings. Talking golf and the summer and golf with a purpose. It's Golf for the Gift, my charity golf event to raise money to help secure forever families through the gift of adoption grants. It's June 23rd, Troy Burn Golf Club. Fun, relaxing, challenging, and it's for a great cause, families. Check us out. It's golfforthegift.com. June 23rd, we'd love to have you join us at Troy Burn. And a perfect time to hear from our main man here at the courtside. It's Craig Carger, the GM. Phil Lodehold just had two hamburgers, so that brings it to 14,404. Yeah. He gave them great reviews. Big stuff coming up for the courtside. We talked about defending the blue line a few minutes ago. Courtside's heart is in that one. Yep, you know, we're partnering with them as well as the Minnesota National Guard doing our first ever golf tournament, Friday, June the 17th, 1230 at Greenhaven Golf Course. And it's a special day because you're giving back once again. Yep. Oh, 
most of the proceeds, if not all the proceeds, will be going back towards those two great organizations. And it's all about charity and it's all about being part of the community. And those guys are here all the time. Yep. It means a lot because your dad's too. Yep, exactly. We do our part for them doing their part. If you want more information, go to the website. www.courtsideanoka.com. Craig Carger here, Courtside Bar and Grill. It is time for the Mayak Minute. This is Matt Parrington of McAllister. Great to have you with us, Coach. Thanks for having the me. The 2011 Baseball Coach of the Year, and congratulations on that. But what is really cool, as we were talking about before the cameras were rolling, your team is the first to have a championship at McAllister in 61 years. Congratulations. Well, thank you very much. That's got to be very exciting. Uh, it, was, uh, it was a great accomplishment. And actually, uh, when the president of the college acknowledged our accomplishment, he also let us know that it was the first non-soccer championship in 30 years at McAllister. So we felt pretty good about that. Now, you were 16-4 and four in the MIAC. Uh, Co-champs with St. Thomas, they had a great, great season too. But I think it's got to be the growth that most pleases you, right? Oh, absolutely. You know, we, as you alluded to earlier, we were picked to, to finish eighth in right, the conference and, right. and preseason polls. I, you know, I don't blame coaches for pu putting us down there. We graduated three all-region all players, so right. they kind of felt the cupboard might be empty. But we knew we had developed our program from the ground up, and our juniors and seniors really picked us up this year. And uh, we had six all-conference players out, out of that group, so that was good. You lose a few seniors, you're going to be dynamite next year. Yeah, we should be pretty strong. You know, I, I think the, the key for any baseball team is pitching, and we're going to lose two of our top guys. Uh, but as I said before, you know, we have good development in the program. I think we'll be a little more dynamic offensively next year. Good, strong defensive team, and we'll see how our pitching comes around. You know, one of the things that I've noticed talking to, to athletes of any, any sport Winning is contagious, just like the Cleveland Indians are showing us. You start winning, these guys start believing. It carries over. Oh, absolutely. We were 9-4 and four in one-run games this year. We had three extra inning wins in Sweet. conference, so it could have gone either way. But uh, as you said, we developed some momentum and some confidence. And most of our guys prior to coming to McAllister College are from winning programs. So it didn't really take a lot, but it still was pretty exciting to watch. Coach, we're going to keep our eye on you. Congratulations on all your success and the team's success. Thank you for being with us. Thanks a lot. Thanks for having Matt us. Harrington of McAllister College in our Mayak Minute. Hey, our friends and neighbors need our help. Please take a moment to donate to help victims of last Sunday's tornado. Go to thesalarmy.org. Call 800-725-2769 with either money, food, non-perishable food, uh, hygiene products, clothes, furniture, you name it, they can use it. Or text BLESSING to 85944. Together we're going to stand taller, help each other out, and thank you for caring. Been a good show. That's it for us. Thank you for letting us be a part of your weekend. Don't forget, check us out for more updates. It's GameOnTVMN.com. And if you tweet us, we answer our tweets on our mobile. I'm Rod Simons. Have a great week and keep your game on.